What's up beauty babes and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you guys can get notifications every time I post a new video. Um, now I know this is not a hashtag makeup Monday video like I normally do and I hinted to the video that I posted on Wednesday that there was going to be another video this week. Okay, story time. I've had a very rough relationship with my hair, okay? I'm a natural ginger, and it's not like kind of like the really ginger ginger. It's like a weird strawberry blonde kind of ginger, which leaves me with Invisibrows, and I'm not a huge fan of my natural hair color, so I dye it a lot. I think when I was like 14 or 15, my mom finally let me dye my hair for the first time, and the first color I chose for my hair was bleach blonde and we did not go to a salon to get this done we did a box bleach and it was supposed to be like a highlight kit kind of thing it was just mm, it had like a weird cap that I pulled my hair through and then we dyed the hair that we pulled through well my mom helped me with it and we ended up pulling like all my freaking hair through but it like didn't pull through all the way and so it kind of left like a nice shadow root and it, it turned out actually beautiful. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I loved my blonde hair. I loved it. I felt like it fit me really well. It was great. We had some fun moments with it when we were dyeing my hair. My mom told me to flip my hair over the sink so she could rinse it out and when I flipped, I bashed my face on the, the sink. So, that was fun. So, yeah, my dad said I lost a lot of brain cells when I uh, dyed my hair blonde. But I love the blonde hair, and I've had all sorts of different colors since. I've had really dark brown, I've had almost black, purple, I've had aerial red, I've had orange, I've had blue, and it's, I just, I love all the colors that I've had in my hair so far. But I miss the blonde hair and I, I honestly wish it was easier for me to go the blonde that I want to go and also like not completely destroy my hair. <laughs> so you know what? Everyone's getting into wigs now. So why not me? That way I can save my hair. I don't have to worry about bleaching it and destroying it. And it's very thin and it's just so brittle and weak that I was like, you know what? Wearing a wig would be a really good way to get my blonde moments back and to also save my hair at the same time to where I don't have to style it so extensively like I normally do. So, um, I just, I really wanted to go for a wig and Here's my first mistake. I decided to shop on a Facebook advertisement. Mm. Yeah, this ad popped up on my Facebook feed from splendidwigs.com and it looked amazing. Like all the wigs were lace front that they advertised. They looked so natural, they looked amazing. I was like, ooh, these are beautiful, these are gorgeous. And they were advertising that they were having a sale. Yeah. Opened it up, was looking through everything. Some of them looked absolutely gorgeous and natural and beautiful. Some of them were a little bit more like cheap looking um, from the advertisement picture. And so I was like, mm, let's keep looking. I found this wig that I was just obsessed with because it had the side part, the same side part that I normally do when I have my hair down. Um, it was a lace front wig. It was a beautiful champagne blonde color. It even said champagne blonde on the title. It was a lace front wig and everything like it was describing a lace front wig and it was gorgeous online. <sighs> She's here. Now I've already opened it up and I've emailed them already 
demanding a refund and to process some sort of return or something because this is it's disgusting all right let's just say that so let me show you so it comes in this box and it says oh welcome to our store oh great <laughs> okay um and then it comes with this wig cap i mean she's oh my god um it's a two-piece wig cap in the color nude or yellow as it says on there and then this is the this is the wig let me let me just let me just pull her out real quick okay let's just let's try to let me show you what we got here we're just gonna does that shit look like a lace front to you that's not a lace front wig what was advertised was a lace front wig, okay? This little cap though is very small. And like, I know I got a bucket head and shit, but like they're normally very elastic and stretchy to where you can fit them on your head and make them look nice and stuff. But this guy, like this whole hairline and everything, like this, it's a center part for one. It's a fucking center part. It's not a side part as advertised. It's a center part. Um, I wouldn't be able to even make it a side part because when you look over here, like if I tried to make it a side part, you just, you see the band and that's it. She feels disgusting. She feels like it's not silky. It's not soft at all. It's like ASMR moment, maybe. She's disgusting. So disgusting. And it's like she's really tangled. Like I can't even get my fingers through it at all. But I tried to put this thing on. And I'm not going to now because I have my hair up in a cute bun. But I tried to put this thing on when I first got it. And it fit like a yarmulke on me, okay? It came, the hairline came to about here and all the way here. Like that's as far as I could get it down was just right here, kind of on the crown. There was no way to make this thing look nice. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke and a total waste of money. Let's talk about the uh, shipping process, shall we? I ordered this three weeks ago. It took three weeks to get here. Not once during like the checkout process did it say anything about like estimated delivery date, anything, okay? But I chose the five to seven day shipping option because that was the only thing that was available. It's like, okay, five to seven day shipping option. That's what it, you know, had me choose. So I chose that. Took three weeks to get here. And I know being in Hawaii, it kind of takes a little bit longer. So I'm not too mad about that, but I never once got any kind of like confirmation email that it was being sent. I got a confirmation email about saying, thank you for your purchase of your order but I didn't get any confirmation emails about like the shipment status. So I was like, am I even gonna get this thing? Like, I feel like this is a total scam. I didn't even think I was gonna get this. And then it showed up and I wish it hadn't because, oh my God, I'm just so disappointed in everything about this wig. It feels disgusting. It looks disgusting. It smells disgusting. It's not even like, it doesn't even fit my head. It's not even the right kind of wig that I ordered. It's not a lace front side part champagne blonde wig that I ordered. It doesn't have any clips in it either, which I think is really weird because it just kept like sliding off when I was trying to put it on. I was like, oh my God, this is not working. So yeah, I've emailed them several times already and they, 
I've sent them pictures with my emails and they just keep saying, oh, please send us pictures of the products and we'll see if you qualify for a refund. But based on what our shipment status says, you were sent the correct wig. What the fuck? <clears throat> I'm fighting with these guys right now to get them to accept a return and refund for this shitty ass product because I don't want it. It's disgusting. I don't want it at all. It's not what I ordered. It's not what I want. It's not what was advertised. So I don't care if your shit is telling you that it sent me the right order or the right product or the right item. I'm telling you, it looks nothing like what is advertised under the product name. And that's an issue. Okay, if you're going to advertise a beautiful lace front side part wig, then it should be a beautiful lace front side part wig, not a whatever this is, middle part crap. Okay, like, I mean, if it was this color, I would still be okay with it, you know, as long as it was a lace front wig, but it's not. And that's what I have a big, huge problem with is that online it is advertised as a lace front wig and I get it and it's not. And it's shitty. I probably could have made this thing work if it was a lace front wig by, you know, putting some like baby powder or dry shampoo on it to kind of soften up the shine and maybe like give it some major TLC with a huge brush out or try to get all these nasty tangles out or something. I could have made it work. But it's not the right kind of wig for me to make it work because it is just absolutely disgusting. It's like gross and it doesn't have any clips in it. It just helps secure it in there. It's not though, like it doesn't even fit my head. It's just disgusting. So yeah, don't make the same mistake that I made and don't shop on Facebook or Instagram shops because they're just a disaster. <sighs> they're very scammy. And I don't think I'm going to be getting a refund back for this crap wig. And I think I'm going to be stuck with it. So. That's lovely. Total waste of my money right there. Just, I'm, I'm really pissed about that because I just, I've wasted my money. So, I'm a little hesitant on where to buy a nice, cheap lace front wig. I don't know if Amazon would be a good option for me. I don't know. I need y'all's help. So go ahead and post in the comments down below if you guys have any recommendations for beautiful lace front wigs that are cheap because I'm a broke ass bitch and I need something a little bit cheaper. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's all I have to say. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you guys can get notifications every time I post a new video. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. See you next time.